tutafanya kazi na hapa na viongozi zaidi kutoka eneo hilo la kaskazini mashariki wamekuwa kiutubia kikao na waandishi wa habari hapa jini Nairobi kuzungumzia swala hilo la walimu na pia mchakato wa marekebisho ya katiba kupitia jopo la upatanishi BBI hebu tuwasikilize to engage directly the World Bank and to come up with a program geared towards addressing this problem of marginalization in northern Kenya and for the first time the government of Kenya under the leadership of the president of the republic of Kenya got commitment worth 100 billion shilling for the region to address marginalization and challenges of underdevelopment part of that money has already been challenged in various sectors climate smart agriculture resilience program issues of Kenya devolution support program Kenya urban support program but of most critical importance is the native program northeast transport uh, development initiative that is the road that is going to link isiolo to mandera there is no project more important more transformative more worthwhile more life touching mm. than that investment and that program has progressed well but because of bureaucracies within our system it has delayed and you are wonderful peers, uh, Mr. Muya. Uh, we have a new team at the Treasury that is bringing, uh, you know, a new way of looking at things. I could go on on this until the cows come home because as Kenyans, we need to be very sincere with you as your leaders and tell you the truth. Some kind of madness we have engaged in before that almost sunk our country was because of in competent management and leadership in some key sectors of the country. So the work that CSE Yatan is doing, looking at our loan book, looking at you know, the projects that we have we been implementing and whether or not some of them are actually value for money, the process that the president has demanded that takes place and how CSE Yatani and PS Muya are executing it is what will lead us to the destination we need to go. So on behalf of my colleagues and myself, I want to promise you that you can expect and will get for sure 100% cooperation from us and support as you discharge your duties as our cabinet secretary for the National Treasury. Na mpenzi mtazamaji tukisalia papo hapo viongozi mbalimbali wanazungumzia hilo swala la usalama kaskazini na hivi sasa basi nitakuwa nakupeleka katika eneo hilo ambapo ni kongamano hapa jini Nairobi hebu tupate kusikia waziri wa fedha ukuri ya tani ana lipi la kusema. Marginalization in security, we must take the mantle and we must be in charge of our own destiny by showing it, by working for it. In this respect, I want to thank the initiators of this event in a very special way, Governor Korane and uh, my elder brother, Senator Yusuf Haji, who one morning visited me in my office to share with me the idea and were quickly and gladly joined by Governor Ali Rova and all the leaders of the region, culminating in this important social gathering and what I believe as a turning point for the way we should be relating and working for the country. I thank you all. At this juncture, I express my sincere and special gratitude to His Excellency Honorable Uru Kenyatta, our beloved President, for the honor and trust that he has not only placed on me, but in our region and in our communities. <laughs> when there were issues in Treasury and there was speculation of who is going to be act given in acting, who will be going to be appointed in acting capacity, you are sure my guess is as good as mine. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I don't think anybody thought me standing before you will be accorded that opportunity to occupy that office. In fact, the newspapers wrote, he said he attended the wild card that Excellency Uhuru just did from nowhere. <laughs> that is the expectation of very many people because their thoughts are charged are charted by history. 
You know, human beings are very good at doing things that they use, that they know better. Because those positions are designed for certain regions or certain interests. But the fact that our own president, you can see this appointment, my appointment, considered among the most sensitive and delicate assignment in government, has disproved the norm completely. And I think my colleague, C.S. Machang has put it better. It could be an answer. It could be, it, it defines what on, uh, His Excellency Uhuru is. He is not interested in you, where you come from, your tribe, your relations, but he just wants to show and prove to the world that he is a fair and just president. <laughs> Indeed, that we have a president that is totally blind to tribalism and determined to integrate and unite this country by making every region part of his government, irrespective of the portfolios, irrespective of relations. It has also disproved known that the Northern Kenya and the entire pastoralist groups no longer live on the perceived fringes of the socioeconomic and political development of our country. I think gone are the days when we are always mentioned as the last by passing, when the heart and the business of this government at the top level, decision policy making level for, for, the, for the entire country. When the heart and the policy making decisions of our government, look at the spread. You know better than me. You know, we have no words. We cannot express what you really wanted to show or to, to tell the president. But we only have our prayers for him. That the president has not only given us the opportunity to serve, but more importantly, the trust to handle and execute delicate assignments for the betterment of all Kenyans. When we are gathered here, and I think I want to, my colleagues to forgive me, or anyone from any other region to forgive me, because this is a very rare opportunity for us, as people with one common identity, defined by adversity of environment, defined by adversity of our own shortcomings in terms of political foresight, that we must address each other from our own hearts. And that's why we are passionate. There will be no reason as to why we should blame anyone if we not deliver as a team, as leaders, then you know we might not get another opportunity. My appointment and indeed this celebration need to be seen alongside other critical appointments of our brothers and sisters, the cabinet secretaries, Adam, who really wanted to be here, but uh, he has a sick parent and he couldn't make it, Amina. The various principal secretaries here, there are quite a number. I also had an opportunity to work with all of them. There are quite a number here. My brothers, the chief administrative secretaries, who ideally are ministers in this government, state ministers in this government. The various CEOs, ambassadors, including those holding sensitive security related assignments. Like na basi mpenzi mtazamaji picha unayopata hapo ni kongamano ambalo viongozi mbali mbali wanautubia wanhabari kusiana na swala zima la usalama kaskazini ajenda kuu ikiwa ni serikali iwajibike na kuwaregesha walimu kazini vile vile kusiana na swala zima la marekebisho ya katiba kupitia jopo la upatanishi BBI basi mpenzi mtazamaji kufikia hapo aume yetu ya kwanza ya taarifa za mbiu wikendi inakomea hapo lakini katika kwa sehemu yetu ya pili tunao marudio makala wako wapi hii leo tukiangazia kumbukumbu ya bendi la Jabali waliohamia Marekani ni zamu yake Mary Kilobi Atoli katika sehemu ya pili tupatane tena hapo mwendo wa saa moja Mwenyezi Mungu akiridhia katika taarifa kamili za 